Okay, so in this problem, it says the figure below shows parallel lines cut by a transversal. So these are our parallel lines right here, and you can tell they're parallel because they're running in the same directions. They're never going to run into each other. And this other line cutting across them has to be the transversal. Based on this information, complete the table below with the measures for each angle. So here's our angle measures. We have angle A, B, D, W, X, Y, Z. Oh, sorry, that's the angle names. And the degree measure we're going to put down here. So let's just find what they give us so we can start somewhere in this problem. Okay, they give us this angle right here, 51 degrees. Well, angle A is a vertical angle to 51, and vertical angles are equal. So angle A is 51 degrees. Now, angle D over here, plus 51 degrees gives us this straight line, or you can look at it this way, D and 51 give us this straight line, and together, D plus 51, if they add up to a straight line, they have to give us 180 degrees. So angle D plus 51 is 180. And, and what plus 51 is 180? Well, that's 130, 29 degrees. So D is 129, right? Because 129 plus 51 is 180. So D, here it is, 100 and, oops, 29. And B is a vertical angle to D. So that's also 129. So this is also 129. Now W, X, Y, and Z, we've already solved. Because corresponding angles, you notice that there are 1, 2, 3, 4 angles here. Each of those have to equal the 1, 2, 3, 4 angles here. They just have to fall in the same position. So this angle, D, equals Y. They're both in the same relative spot, right? the upper right-hand corner. So they're both 129. So angle Y is 129, and then W is a vertical angle to Y, that's 129. Okay, now X and Z, well Z corresponds to A, they're equal, so they're both 51 degrees. And X is a vertical angle to Z, so that's also 51 degrees. And we're done. And just notice that, I mean, I could have gone about this a bunch of different ways, I just solved the four angles here which form a circle, right, 360 degrees, they equal the four angles here. And that's a cool property when you have two parallel lines cut by a transversal, all the corresponding angles are equal. All the vertical angles are equal, etc. All right, hope that helped.